morning. Electric Rue here. I wanted to talk about some old DOS software, particularly menu launchers. One in particular that I had used years ago called Quick Menu 3 by Neosoft. It was a graphic interface. Not much graphic by today's standards, but you could do a lot of neat things with it back in MS-DOS. This was way before Windows. I think that they actually did have a Windows version when Windows 95 came out. It worked similar, but uh, really it wasn't really necessary anymore. As Windows 95, even Windows 3.1 provided a way to launch your programs. I have this uh, running in DOSBox, which I'll show you how I set it up in DOSBox. Now I'm not going to go into the configuration of DOSBox. I figure most people already know how to do that or can figure that out on their own. But let's look at my Windows computer and we'll fire up DOSBox and I'll show you how I have everything set up. So let us fire up DOSBox and have a look at Quick Menu. There's the main screen. You can change this name up here, but we can see this is Quick Menu 3, version 3.1b, 3 May 1st, 1995. You can do quite a lot of things. Let's look at some of the file and utility options before we go into making menus here. You could drop the DOS if you wish. Just type exit and it will go back out to the main screen. The file utilities are kind of nice. Here's the auto exec bat file I have set up in DOS box. We can view it. Can also edit it if we wanted to. And let's go over. There are different options here. You can copy, move a file, rename, delete. You can make a directory, change directory. Um, enough graphic options for DOS, things that weren't available before Windows. A little utility section that just has a calculator, calendar, phone bulk. We might take all this stuff for granted today, but you have to remember to do any of this on DOS, you had to have a separate application and load it and run it. I have some different screens set up some of the all the old games that I've bought and collected over the years. Uh, I have an Apogee section, Champ section, Pinball section, Ultima section of course. The Ultima games were some of my favorites back then. Sierra, all those old Sierra games that I had purchased back then. Figure, boy, we sure spent a lot of money back then today on games. As much as today, I guess. Games were a little cheaper back then. Now you can modify a page by clicking the modify button. You could modify a page button. Anything here. To have this effect back here, let's click on edit and we can edit. You can see what I did here, the name, the location. You can set it up to ask for a file. You can set a pause between. You can also edit if it's a file you want to edit. You can password it. You can change the style. In this case, there's the, the icon style that I have set up. Now there are some different styles there. What you can do, 
can also change the font, the background color. That's pretty nice for MS-DOS back, back in the day. can change the icon if you wish. There's a set of icons that come with it. If you want to put a different icon instead of a button, you can use an icon. You can also edit the icons, or you can also add an icon to the collection. Let's go back here, back to the button that we had. Can change the uh, color, the fill, the text color, and the border. And you also can change the alignment for the text, center, left, right. And of course, different fonts that were available. You can see the fonts that came with it. You could buy extra fonts, also an extra icons if you wanted to. Change the size of the font. So, there were quite a bit of styles you could create. You could list your programs if you wanted to find a file that you wanted to run. So there were a lot of different things you could do here. Now this background here, actually I drew that in if you, let's, let's edit that. And all I did was make an icon style. So when I made a new icon, which we can do, I just drag it there. Let's let's add. Let's go add. Let's add a let's add a uh, software icon. We'll call it test. We're not going to fill any of this in because it really is not necessary. So, and wherever you want to drop it, and you can change the size, or you can go in and you can delete it. If you need to add another page. You can add another page, a page icon. We're going to link to page uh, 7 because if you look at list page command here, uh, we don't have anything on page 7. I already made a test, so let's just link it to page 7. Enter OK. And let's put that button there. Now one thing you'll notice Let's click Done. Let's go to that page. And on that page you can also modify that page and add, edit, copy, move, delete, change the title of the page. You see it's their test. Um, setup screen. Let's go to the setup screen. You can set the screen background the color. You can use a PCX image. You can save a color palette and load the color palette. There are sound effects avail available. You can confirm a program upon launch, turn a 3D interface back off. You can display the speed keys, snap the grid, and if you're going to use a PCX image, you can use uh, EMS, XMS, or disk mem memory. <clears throat> Let's go back to our main page. And let's go back to modify. And let's delete test. So that's basically it. It's a nice little application. And has a nice built-in help file. 
So different functions uh, tells you how to do some of the things that you need to do in case you get stuck. Also notice that when you create a page, I'll show you. When you create a page, as we did here, if you go to the page button, now you can scroll through the pages with these keys. It doesn't show up. You see it's not there until you put something on it. Let's go to modify. Let's just add a software icon. Let's just put it there. Now if we select done. Now if we hit page again we notice there's page number seven is there. So let's delete this. Delete. Yes. Done. So it works nice. Uh, there are other options you can do. Let's go over here. If you notice for some of the ultimate games, I have these buttons here. Turn uh, DOS EMS off or DOS EMS on. Let's go look at what I did here. Let's edit. So this is a command to turn EMS off in DOS box. Simple command, config dash set DOS EMS off, because some of the games require it and some of the games don't. And the same with EMS on. So you can have different commands. Here it is here, turn it EMS on. So there are a lot of things you can do with this. You can set the again the screen the password the screen blanker is a uh, you can have an exploding clock let's preview uh, that didn't show up quite a bit all oh, there yeah well wow. just shows you real briefly what it looks like then it drops back digital clock shape, dead of night, interval of minutes. I have it set for five minutes. Actually, Mal, you have a network version. There's a version for network to access feature, your log. Set your date and time. Mouse, set your mouse behavior slow, medium, fast. Uh, actually, dollar back then, if you wanted to dial or dial, dial a modem, you can have the modem attached here and have a dial, this dial a number for you. And then start up your terminal program. Palette, change the palette. So it had a lot of different functions. So that's about it. Uh, you can open your document files. Uh, here's, uh, I have this set for, let's take a look at it. This opens a, do a document file for Ultima 5. So there's one of the commands, view, the at key, view equals C, Ultima, Ultima 5, Ultima 5 text. So, with that, we can start up the built-in viewer, and we can read the text. For the games, or anything else, 
So that's the built-in editor. You could always use an external editor too and have it load up. I have a back button here which I created. I'll show you that. Let's take a look at that. All that is is uh, links to a page. So I have it going back to one. And style again. Back arrow icon that I used. And you can change the style of the icon there also and the colors through the icon the color the font anything you needed to do there now it'll take us back to the main page or you can go through the pages simply by selecting there or clicking there if you wish so that's about it quick menu 3 a nice little app to launch all your favorite DOS software plus some utilities working in DOS so we can exit out of here now we drop to the DOS box screen. Let's exit out of DOS box. And there you have it. Do you have any questions or comments? Let me know.